Hi everybody, it's Random Terry bringing you a Dollar Tree haul this time. Um, I was actually able to make it in the store and peruse a little bit and it's not like a lot and it's mostly food items um, but I will get into it and if you like this video give me a thumbs up. If you like what I'm putting out there please subscribe. It's free so you know, know how many I subscribe to. Ooh, okay. So let's get into it. This is a repurchase. Ooh, yeah, see that shininess? So this is a Crafter Square. There's 12 pieces in here, um, which is four cards total. And this is, um, I use it with a Cricut. I got the Cricut card mat. And there's an envelope. There's like a card. And then there's these foil sheets that go that slide in behind the face of that card after you get it cut. So you have little, um, the, the foil showing through the holes. And it's really cool. And I know somebody else hauled this and thought it wasn't worth it, but if you look at the Cricut prices on things when they sell it, it's a little more. And I should have picked up another one, but I only picked up one more. So, and that's the, um, that's how it will look after you get it cut and you slide the foil in behind it. And then of course there's an envelope. So it's like a three piece, the card, the insert and the envelope. So there's 12 pieces. So that means there's four cards. Ooh, and I wanted to say, I forgot what size this is. Cause I could give you that if you're using a Cricut cause it doesn't say it on this package. And I fi figured it out, but I forget what size it is. I'm sorry. Should have thought about that before. I didn't. And I have another repurchase, which I always go, I get my tissues. I get my tissues at Dollar Tree. I had to get another little one like this. And I thought that was a pretty box, that pretty color. That cube. I need a cube because I have like a little basket with like a little lid. Wooden lid on top that this fits nicely into. So. And they're good for the car too little square one instead of the flat one. They fit into my little carrier between the seats. So that's my repeat haul. Uh, and then I've seen this haul before. And I, ooh, there's pieces broken. Okay. It is chalk. And I see through the little window that there's like a piece broken in there. But this is 100 pieces of chalk. And let me open it up and show you that... There's plenty of chalk, but they are, well, even if they're broken, I can use them on the board and stuff. They are, looks like they're irregulars. They're different sizes. I don't want to drop them, but you see how they come in different sizes, which doesn't bother me any. For $1.25 for this many pieces of chalk, I think that's a good deal. They did also have a box of different color ones, which maybe I should have bought a box of that too, but. I kind of like just the white. Serves me well. Oh, let me move this out of the way a little bit more. Scare my dog there. Don't drop it on his head. Okay. And then I saw this uh, hauled before it is hand soap. And this does smell nice. I smelled it in the store. And it... It reminds me of, some, well, lemon. It reminds me of lemon, but it also reminds me of something else. It's just a, a, it's a clean kind of smell. And I have a hand soap at my sink now that's some sort of herbal, but it's kind of a weird mixture. And my sister doesn't like it because that kind of stinks. I never really liked it either, but I was going to use it because I had it. But uh, I found this, and this is a good 16 fluid ounces. So hopefully this will work. And I like that the look of the bottle, too. Kitchen Lemon Delta Home, and it is distributed by the Right Solutions Corporation. And this is made in Canada, actually, if you can read that. Yeah. And it's pretty, and I like the yellow. Sorry, I'm not bowing out totally. Okay, and then I was walking by, and I didn't really need this, but I thought, dang, that's kind of cute. And it is called a candle holder. 
and there's no candle in it, but if you put like a little tea light or something in there, and then you can put the lid on to snuff it out. It's just really cute. These came in silver and gold, and then this coppery rose gold looking one, and this is the only one that they had of this color, so I bought this. But I'm thinking of just using it like trinkets on my dresser. I know I have plenty of trinket boxes on my dresser, but you know, what's one more? Because I like this, and I like the color and stuff. It's just like that hammered metal type. So there's that. I really debated over getting this too when I was looking at it. I'm going, do I really need that? Am I going to use it as a candle holder? No. Can I put it on my dresser and use it as a trinket holder? Yep, I did. Bought it. I'm there. And we move into food stuff. And I was walking by and they have Mrs. Fields cookies. It's just a three pack of cookies. And yes, it's open because I gave my husband one to take to lunch today in his lunch before I did the haul. But they come in packages like this. They're not real big, but I like the individual wrapness, wrapness, the individual wrapping of them. And Mrs. Fields cookies usually are good. We'll see, I might try one of these later after my lunch. And that's it. Mrs. Fields used to be a big name and she used to be in the malls making cookies. I remember that way back when. when I was young, 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 young. And this is distributed by Taste of Nature, Santa Monica, California. All right, we have cookies. Okay, and I also found oh, something else for my husband's lunch. Uh, this might not be a deal, but it's snack pack. It's a four pack of butterscotch pudding. He likes butterscotch pudding, so I bought another round of those. Where do I go from here? Okay. Candy aisle. I went down candy aisle, and I thought this landmark confections I heard are fairly decent. It's not a very big bag. It is a three ounce bag and it's best by April 27, 24 and they're pecan clusters and I thought I'd try them. They probably remind me of turtles so I thought I'd try that and having a smaller bag limits my over eating. I'm all small I can probably eat this whole thing but there's three servings per bag and two pieces per serving so there's probably six pieces in here so not horribly overeat I guess. And then here's another thing which I actually had on my Walmart grocery pickup list and I saw it at Dollar Tree when I was there. So I, did I remove it off my list? Maybe not. Maybe I left it on there. We'll see. I'll see. I'll try them and I'll see if I like them. They're Haribo Twin Snakes and they are, I believe, sour at one end and sweet on the other. It says it right there. And I thought those were kind of cool. Or one side, second side, sour. And this is by Haribo, the, you know, the gummy bear things. And this is a four ounce bag. And currently in my cart, I have two of them. And I got 56 cents off when you buy two. So this is $1.25 at Dollar Tree. And at the Walmart site where I am, it was $1.27 or $1.26. Something like that. 27 maybe. So when it took, you buy two and you get the 56 uh, cents off it brings it down to a dollar each so that is a better deal but you have to buy two of them to do it otherwise it's pretty much the same so I'm going to try this and then I can take it out of my cart if I don't want it if I don't like them but I wanted something that gummy and I've had like the gummy bear sours before and they tasted pretty good and I just had a hankering for it so and I could eat a whole bag that's why I'm as big as I am Okay. And then I found, I found something else. I was going down the thing, going down the aisle, and I found these coconut tips, caramel coconut tips. And they look like little, well, to be honest with you, after tasting them, I mean, beforehand they looked like little Hershey Kisses type things. And after I tasted them, they now remind me of little piles of poo. Because you might like it if you like maybe German chocolate cake with the topping with the caramelly coconut type thing. You might like these, but 
even though I like German chocolate cake, I tasted this thinking it was going to be great. Not, not so much in my opinion, my taste buds. I don't like it. You might like it very well. So, and it is made in USA. It's Crown Candy Corporation from Macon, Georgia. So there's that. And uh, just, they smell, they smell good. They smell like coconut, but they don't taste real good. And then along the cookie line, I happen to see these, and I like sugar wafers, vanilla sugar wafers. And what company is this? Colum, Columbi, Columbina? Columbina? Columbina. Well, anyway, March 27, 2024 is the best buy date, or best before date. And there are 20 packs in there. So these are like individual packs. You have two little cookies in each pack. And I just thought that was great because if I don't eat them all up at one time, you know how you have a package and it's open and it goes stale? This prevents that from happening. I don't have to eat so many all at once. And I can take my time with them. So, and every once in a while, I like the, what do they call them? Vanilla wafers? I call them sugar wafers. So, and then moving along, no more cookies. If you like Girl Scout cookies, Thin Mints, you'll more than likely like these. I've had these before, um, and they're good. <laughs> they are really good, and they do remind me of the Thin Mint Girl Scout cookies for a heck of a lot cheaper. Think about it. Um, so after I get done with this video, I'm probably going to pop these in the freezer because that's the way I like my Thin Mints. So, and it's uh, nine ounces. And when I see them in the store, I can get them. They don't, sometimes they don't always have them in there. Best Buy. 3, 12 of 24. So it's good till next year. And uh, yeah, we'll be gone by then. Or they'll be gone by then. And then I found something else kind of, I don't know if these are probably coming out in the, like the fruit roll-ups. They had a, uh, their little shelves in the front of the store. I think they're kind of getting ready for back to school. So they had these little individual cups of these pineapple tidbits, and I like pineapple. And um, I thought they would be either good for me to eat, my husband doesn't like them, uh, but sometimes if you make like a little fruit salad or something and you put these in it, and if for the two of us, if I don't wanna make a big one, I've got portion control. So, pineapple tidbits, and they're Libby's, so they should be a good, good brand. And these are good till February of next year, 24. And then I came across this and I thought, gee, it's rice and pasta blend. It's a brand named Noor and it is chicken flavor. And it reminds me, let's see, rice and pasta blend in a savory chicken flavored sauce. It does have a sauce. Um, and this kind of reminds me of rice a -roni. My husband likes rice a -roni. I believe they had this in broccoli cheese too, but my husband does not like broccoli. So I got the chicken to give it a try. And on the price side of this, it's about the same at Walmart. I think there might be a couple cents off. So this was a fairly decent deal. And according to price of the rice of Roni, it's about the same also. So I'm gonna give that a try because I like Knorr or Knorr, Knorr, whatever you call it. And then this, does make 12 to 14 biscuits, and it is a Pillsbury biscuit mix. They did have one that was a cheddar garlic biscuit mix, but you had to add your own cheddar. So I thought I could get this, and if I wanna make them plain, I can make them plain. If I wanna make uh, garlic cheddar, I can add garlic and cheddar to kind of vamp it up a little bit. So I have more options, I guess, with this. This is the Best Buy uh, October 23, which this will probably get used up when I make biscuits and gravy. So. Um, just add milk. That's great. Half a cup of milk, one package. But I'm wondering how big the biscuits are. Scoop by tablespoonful. Tablespoon. So they're only little biscuits, I think. So I usually make them a little bit bigger. And I don't see how this package would make 10 or 12 to 14. But I guess it claims it does. I guess it all depends on what size you make them. So... I bought that too. And that, I don't know if that's a good deal for $1.25. Because you can get Bisquick mix and you can make a lot of things with that. So, 
Ends. Excuse me. We're getting in close, up close and personal. Um, the spousal unit's birthday is coming up. So I bought a yellow cake mix, classic yellow. He likes, I'm going to try to feel him out and see what he wants. I know he likes Boston cream pie. So I usually take this. I might doctor it up a little bit. I'm, I'll look up some um, recipes online. But I make this. I put the pudding in the middle. I put like a, I can make a chocolate ganache type topping for it and make him a Boston cream pie. Which is actually a cake. So there's that. And then moving to the last, the last item that I found. And when I saw it, I grabbed two because I'm always kind of keeping my eye open for full size boxes of cereal. Pardon me. And this sounded really good. Limited edition chocolate strawberry Cheerios. So I picked up two of these. It is not like a big box, but it is a 10.9 ounce box. And chocolate, come on, chocolate strawberry. I told the husband that I got this and he just kind of like, oh, okay. So we'll see if he likes it or not. So that is my haul for you for today from Dollar Tree. Um, and until next time.